students welcome to day 2 of last minute revision series yesterday ICI has released second mock test paper of quantitative aptitude in today's session I'm discussing seven questions which are never repeated in any examination or they were asked in any other mock test questions starting with question number one the ratio of prices of two fans were 16 is to 23 after you read first sentence, jump to the last sentence, find original price of the two fans. Original prices, let us consider this as 16x and 23x. So ultimately you have to find what is 16x, 23x. Let's look at information given. Two years later when the price of the first has increased by 10%. For the first one, it was 16x, price has increased by 10%, take the calculator 16 plus 10%, you get this value as 17.6x and the second one has increased by 477. For the second one, we had considered as 23x, for this you need to add 477, the ratio of the prices is 11 is to 12. The ratio of these two that is 17.6x divided by 23x plus 477 is given as 11 is to 20. Now it is very simple just do cross multiplication. 20 of 17.6x is equal to 11 of 23x plus 477. Solve this you will get 352x is equal to 11 into 23, 253x plus 11 into 477, 5247. Take all x terms to one side and number to another side. You will get 352 minus 253 which is equal to 99x is equal to 5247 and your x value will be 5247 divided by 99 which is 53 and your answer will be original price 16x which is equal to 16 into 53 848 and second will be 23x which is equal to 23 into 53 which is equal to 1219 so correct option is option A. Next, I have picked 8th question only for one reason. In the class, we have learned nature of the roots. It can be of three types. Either the nature of the roots can be equal to 0, b square minus 4ac is equal to 0, or it can be less than 1 during which the roots are imaginary, or it is greater than 1 during which the roots are real and rational. If you remember that, this time they have asked roots of this quadratic equation are coincident. Now students are not aware what is meaning of coincident. Coincident basically means the roots are equal and when the roots are equal b square minus 4ac value is equal to 0. Remember this, this is from nature of the roots. Let's find a value is equal to 1 x square, b value is equal to minus 4, c value is equal to k. Let's replace these values now b square minus 4 whole square minus 4 into a into c is equal to 0 solve this minus 4 square 16 minus 4k is equal to 0 minus 4k goes to right hand side becomes plus 4k is equal to 16 or your k value is 16 divided by 4 which is equal to 4 your correct option is option a One good thing about this mock test paper is it is extremely easy. Literally every question which is there in entire starting 40 questions of max are either discussed in class or they are the questions which is already there in previous year exams and you can refer the scanner. The only unique question which I found which was never asked in the exam is question number 43. In question number 43 you have to pick odd man out. 
let's start this is also easy it is squares plus 1 with only one difference that usually we were taking 12 square plus 1 13 square plus 1 14 square plus 1 but in this case this is 12 square plus 1 which is equal to 145 next they are jumping to not 13 but 14 14 square 196 plus 1 next this will be 16 square plus 1 this will be 18 square plus 1 324 plus 1 next ideally has to be 20 square plus 1 401 but they have given 399 so 399 is odd man out this type of alternate squaring was generally not asked in examination next is question number 49 which is from blood relation we have done this type of question in the class and i told that this is from mathematical operations but anyways let's check this out if p into q minus s is true then which of the following is correct we have to break down this expression p into q minus s into group of 2 2 first let us take p into q what does p into q means into means son p is son of q son means male person next q minus s minus meaning is wife q is wife of s q is wife of s this is india if q is y female obviously s has to become male person in this which of the following is true let's start with option a S is wife of B, no, S is husband of Q, in fact. Next, S is father of P, correct. S is father, P is daughter, no, P is son and Q is father, no, Q is mother. So, this was the answer. Next, question number 67. The next question is not asked in examination because this is introduced in new syllabus and this is a question from sampling theorem standard error is described as dash standard error is uh, standard deviation is for the population and standard error is basically the same standard deviation for the sample or the statistics next question number 81 which is from probability chapter i found this question is interesting before i go ahead with this question let us recollect the basics of probability chapter whenever they say three events are there there is only one formula in probability which deals with three events a b c and that formula is what i have written on your screen probability of a union b union c is equal to probability of a plus probability of b plus probability of c minus a intersection b b intersection c c intersection a plus probability of A intersection, B intersection, C. Now, let's see what other information is given in the question. First, they are mutually exclusive. Mutually exclusive is like me and Chancer. We never coincide. We never take class together. In that case, A intersection, B intersection, C is 0. A intersection, B is also 0. B intersection, C is also 0. C intersection, A is also 0. So, what is left out? P of A plus P of B plus P of C. They have even told that they are exhaustive. Exhaustive is the condition on union of the events. Probability of A union B union C is equal to 1. Let's replace this formula now. 1 is equal to P of A plus P of B plus P of C. What happens to all other items given in the question? Everything becomes 0. Equally likely, that means I can replace P of A, P of B, P of C with the same thing which is P of A, P of A and P of A because all these three probability is same. This is P of A. This is from mutually exclusive. This means 3 times P of A is equal to 1 or if I want P of A, the value is 1 divided by 3. What have they asked in the question? what is the probability of complement of a complement of a a complement probability of a complement is 1 minus probability of a 1 minus 1 by 3 your answer becomes 2 by 3 option b is correct 
This question is also there in ICI module and this is solved question but I didn't solve this question in classroom. That's the reason I'm doing it in this video. Next. Next question is again from probability chapter. Always read the last part of the sentence. What is his expected profit? What do you mean by the word expectation? Isn't this nothing but summation x into p of x? This is nothing but arithmetic mean. So I need two columns now. One is column x. Another one is probability of that column x. x is nothing but the amount. It can be either in profit or it can be in loss. Let's start with the question. In a business venture, a man can make profit of 50,000. That means plus 50,000. And what is the probability of the profit? They have given in the next sentence, probability of making the profit from the past experience is 0.75. Next, he can incur loss of 20,000 minus 20,000. This is for loss and that probability is 0.25. You will create one more column x into p of x, multiply them, do the total. When after multiplication and doing the total, you will end up at 32,500 total and this is option D. This is your expected value. I felt that uh, these are the questions which can help you out in your preparation. Because ICI has never done it in this way that mock test was released so late. So in case you wanted to quickly run through mock test paper, keep the timing as 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock and complete off this mock test paper. That's it. See you all in next revision series in which I'll be discussing RTP which was uh, released by ICI in last month. All the best. Bye.